Um, so we're going to go to service above self and talk a little bit about everything you all did this year. Um, because like I said before, we really, we really managed to do quite a bit. Um, we started with fundraising and we, every, almost everything we did this year for fundraising was new and different that we hadn't done before. And um, we totally just, you guys went for it and you just did it. And I'm so, so happy that it happened. And I'm just so proud of us for just making the move. We, we started with our sunrise summer scramble. And then we had our sunrise summer sale, the alliteration. Um, and then we did an Oktoberfest to go. And this is, I love this picture because Chris just doesn't quite know what's going on. Um, and now we have proof of that because we've always kind of known that, Chris, but now we have proof that you're like, hmm. Um, that's, not, that's not fair. Uh, I, you made me dress up. You made me look at these people and it was one of those events. So it was a lot of fun though. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and then, uh, and then we, we, uh, did our toth at home. We, instead of having the event, we made all these bags and had people drive up and pick them up. And it was pretty crazy and all, wonderful. And a lot of work went into that too. Thank you to the team that did that. And, and Lisa, if you hadn't been willing to do the shift, I don't think that would have happened. So thank you so much. Um, and then we had these other efforts. We did our no breakfast club where um, people donated money they would have spent on breakfast towards our effort. Uh, Barbara created the masks with a message, the beautiful masks that we sold. And I did a Facebook fundraiser. And then a lot of you put in just extra donations. You gave your stimulus checks or whatever you could to help us, uh, help us hit our target. Um, and we did, we hit it and then we started spending it. But this is uh, this is our our first in service um, our first in person service project we did in September. We finally were sitting around and everyone said, "Well, you know, we can do some things." So we went out and cleaned the streets uh, in Arcata, which really needed it. And that's a group. Um, and then uh, I put up together a bunch of a list of community service things, and I separated out the things that we did for youth, and they'll come up in a minute. But um, these are a lot of the things that we did for the community. Um, and AJ, I was wondering if you wanted to say a few words just about how it, um, the year went for your committee. Um, we actually did a similar list this week because uh, I wanted to create a write-up for um, Ian going into his year. And um, yeah, it was pretty amazing. Like uh, um, the garden, obviously, um, um, mask with the message we had, the street cleanup, the senior meal delivery, you have that on there. Uh, the flag raising we added, oh. um, folks shopping for seniors, the community garden. Um, I think I got to clean up the garden with you, Maggie, which was at the very beginning of the year. It was like, a, mm -hmm. like one of the first pandemic, um, uh, like things to do to try to stay busy. Um, and then the highway cleanups, we never forget. But um, yeah, thank you to the committee. Uh, We'd love to keep growing um, in this. Uh, I think we're um, looking to recruit a little more, um, but it's uh, been an interesting year to try to stay active, keep your hands busy to try to uh, contribute to the community. And I want to thank the club for uh, those who um, are able to come out and participate and uh, get their hands dirty. So thanks, Maggie. Thank you, AJ. And, um, and then there's a list of the things we did for um, that were COVID related as well. And that's, and I appreciate people stepping in with ideas to do that and to especially spur of the moment things that happen like the barbecue for the nurses that, that Tom pulled together. Um, just a lot of good effort. And here's some pictures of highway cleaning up. Um, and poor AJ's friend will never come back because she saw too many snakes out there and that was her the one thing she never wanted to see was a snake and she saw eight of them so um so uh we'll have to get her bring bring her to the bigfoot there are no snakes there that would be a better thing to bring her to in fact maybe to thank her we should all <laughs> have her come um 
And then here's some uh, central worker uh, thank yous. This is a barbecue. And then um, there is the uh, Operation Gratitude that you pulled together as well, um, where we, we uh, gave those Toth bags out to a number of uh, essential workers. And then youth, I put a lot of the community service stuff under youth because that's kind of where, um, where the target was. But these are a bunch of the things that we did in youth uh, or supporting schools and the youth that were done by community services or um, the youth committee. And um, I don't know if Rebecca, you want to say anything about your experience this year chairing, um, co-chairing that committee? Not really. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, it's it's tough. It's tough chairing. That's what I'll say. Um, yeah. Well, I appreciate your effort and thank you. And and um and I know that um that it's important that we have uh, we change committee chairs periodically. And so I'm really um, looking forward to you not having to do that and other people stepping up and taking on on the the role. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for your service. Um, here are some pictures of Tay Gift stockings. There's Santa Sarah. Uh, and um, oh, and this is another thing, the Success in Both Worlds conference. This is a copy of the front of the t-shirt. And this is the back. Uh, we sponsored this event. And I just want to have you take a look at who we're hanging out with. Um, I, I feel really proud of us for for being involved in this event. And when you see the sponsors and then you've got us in there. Um, and I just think this was a terrific opportunity and I wanna thank Romy for that. And Romy, this t-shirt is belongs to you. I'll get it to you. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I think that was a, a great uh, opportunity to advertise our us and also help these kids do um, their conference. Some more opportunities, examples. Sorry, this picture is just going to be my favorite. Um, and there you are, um, the group that was, is working on the greenhouse. And then those of us who were, um, all the different committees participated in um, getting the book drive for NAACP. So that's a picture of us getting the books. Here's backpacks. Everybody got a chance to try to do backpacks in a new and different way, um, location and, and um, so here are some of our backpackers. I even dragged my nieces into this one. So that was cool. And then world, we did, we still did some things with the world um, um, community service project. Here's some of the uh, samples of things that we did. And I have a couple pictures. Um, I love this picture here of them having the water to bathe the baby at the orphanage. Um, and Charlie, I'm looking to see if you are here um, or Tom to say a few words. I don't see them. Um, here, Maggie. Oh, there you are, Tom. Yeah, these were good. And it was nice to be able to uh, still be part of these projects. And man, I love that Pakistan project too. It's going to become one of my favorites. Right, definitely. So this committee is already up and running and thinking about the next year. And um, so they'll have more to share with you in the new year. Thanks, Tom. You bet. And the foundation, um, Terry, we, uh, I got up here. We, I'm allowed to say kick butt on Zoom, right? Um, but we kick butt. Yes, we did. And um, we're every Rotarian every year again, and I appreciate um, your your support, Maggie, and highlighting it from the front of the room, as it were, always makes a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. And these are some of our Paul Harris folks. Um, and I must not only have been highlighting it, but I must have also been putting money into it because I managed to get two Paul Harris's in, 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 uh, in one year. Um, 
which uh, that's a I, good thing. It is a good thing. I'm just uh, um, it's so sad that my video won't work. It's really odd too. It's like literally broken. Um, I don't know why. I miss all of you already. Let me see. I'm going to just make a take a moment to see why this might be happening. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch and see if this works. Yeah, I just switched cameras. Hi, I'm back. Um, yes, so all the folks that got a Paul Harris, a first Paul Harris or a, a Paul Harris Plus. And then um, I wanted to take a moment to um, award a Rotarian of the Year. I was not originally going to do this. Um, I just thought we're all Rotarians of the Year. Anyone who gets through this Rotarian year is a Rotarian of the Year. Um, but then it came to me that that I did want to um, I did want to embarrass somebody. Um, and 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 I think it's you know this year has been so crazy and many of us are either retired or we have jobs that continued um, and weren't majorly impacted from the standpoint of income. I mean, they were impacted in all other ways, but we were still getting a paycheck. We have some people in our club who are small business owners and it threw their lives up in over and uh, I mean, it just threw them for so many loops that they're probably dizzy. And, and yet this person, despite that, continued to step up for Rotary, continued to be present for Rotary, um, continued to go to meetings, continued to just volunteer to do whatever, whatever she could and, and to make things happen um, for us. And when I know she was incredibly worried about her own business and her livelihood. And during this time, she even agreed to become our uh, president nominee. Um, and I just want to recognize Vanessa with, um, for that. Uh, she just is so present. She's so present for all of us. Um, and I just, I mean, I can go on, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of like losing it. So Vanessa, I, I just thank you so much for everything you do for Rotary. And I have your, your plaque here. Oh, wait a minute. I stopped the share, but well, I'm going to show it to you here. Um, I took a picture of it, but it's so reflective that it shows me in the, in the thing. So I just, and I hope you'll, you'll put this up where we can see it. Um, and and then I hope I want to ask you a favor, Vanessa. One more one more thing for Rotary. Um, I want to ask if you will let us make the Griffin our clubhouse. And if you do, I kind of thought it already was. <laughs> well, if you will let us make it official. Yes, um, of course. And I don't know if you can see it. Let this is. Um, yeah, I got it. Let me pull up the, the slide for this because it's too reflective, but I want people to see what I'm hoping she'll put in the clubhouse um, because you have been a place for us to do projects, have meetings, uh, gather, um, pick things up, pick prizes up, um, you know, uh, and just, I think we should make it official. So let me just there, this is what it says. And um, service above self, fellowship beyond measure. Thank you again. So um, thank you so much, Vanessa. Do you want to say anything? I didn't think so. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. By the way, these mugs that I've given to those of you will be, you'll have to pick them up at the clubhouse. Um, so, um, and uh, there will be more than just the one, I promise. 